Yu-Gi-Oh! What is up YouTube? This is Jeremy from Team Bio and today guys, uh, you've already hit my expectations for 300 likes on that last uh, 6 Samurai deck profile, so I got you that testing and combo tutorial video. So, like I said, you guys hit 300 likes in 16 hours I believe, so for me personally that's phenomenal, that's amazing. I know for a lot of other YouTubers who are a lot bigger than me, they're just like, oh, 300 likes isn't anything, but I do really appreciate it. Um, I, I see every like notification I get, I read every comment, I don't reply to all, to all the comments just because I'm kind of a busy person, but I do read them and just know that I do appreciate all the love and support you guys give, telling me that you're hoping that I get better soon. Uh, and a lot of you have heard that I've been in the hospital because I said it like six times already, but I really appreciate you guys looking out for me saying that i'm in your thoughts whatever and you're hoping that i'm getting better so thank you all so much for that but you guys are here for six samurai night to hear me ramble so here we are um so with combos on this deck it's a, a since summon sorceress invoker wrong uh since they're all banned uh the deck's kind of lackluster with the two card combos more combos are three card oriented but I can show you what you can do at the bare minimum with two card combos. This will be a two card combo to basically thin your deck by nine cards and then have three extra cards in your hand at the end. So uh, after after just two cards, you'll have six cards in hand with uh, three on field, I believe. So as most combos are, it'll start with your one Kigeki and your one Kazaru. Uh, if you, as you guys have seen in all my combo tutorial videos, these are pretty much just your best starter cards and we will actually get a field center um, Pokemon yellow will be our field center so Kiyaki and Kazar is your best combo starters uh, they've always has been so we'll start off with this normal summon your Kiyaki activating its effect to special summon your Kazaru activating Kazaru's effect to search your legendary secret of the six samurai Next, you will link those into your Azold. Uh, activate Azold effect. You are going to search for your Photon Thrasher. Let me put these grave cards in the field. Uh, next, you will send your four equip spells. Pretty much everything except for DDR, just because DDR is the best card to draw. Special summon another Kazaru. Kazaru's effect is going to be chain link one. Legendary will be chain link two. Kazaru will search your Mizuho. The reason why in this combo we're searching Mizuho is because we don't know the other three cards in our hand. And we're actually going to resolve Kazaru again pretty soon by overlaying him and Legendary for Dragus, Dugaris, Dugaris. We will detach two materials just to special summon. If I can get this all on field, him back. And then activate his effect again to search for our Shinai. So this is thin your deck by nine cards and I think that's pretty great. Um, then you have three other co potential combo extender cards in your hand already, whether it be Instant Fusion or if you would have started with Photon Thrasher, you could have searched for Kageki. Um, having Arboria to throw into his own over here, that's four cards into a Ceruja. And then before you Saruja, you could have banished like a Kigeki and a Secret Six Sam or Legendary Secret to add Phoenix Blade to your hand to have seven cards in your hand before you Saruja. I think that's pretty good. So yeah, um, that is it for the combo. Really, uh, I know it's not too too intense of a combo, but like I've said, the Six Samurais have kind of lost power with the ban a lot of the banning of our cards. So. Let me get everything set up for the uh, test hand video, and I will be right back, guys. All right, guys, we are back, and I'm going to shuffle the deck up a little bit. Just so you guys know, while I was off camera, I wasn't trying to stack anything. Um, but yeah, we are going to do three test hands. We are going to play Ideal Yu-Gi-Oh! For those of you who have not seen any of my test hand videos, uh, Ideal Yu-Gi-Oh! is where... We won the die roll. Our opponent doesn't open hand traps. We get to play Yu-Gi-Oh for no consequences. There's no Nimbiru, there's no Ash, no Valor, no Impermanence. Just our, hopefully, luck at drawing Gateway. So, 
I'm gonna shuffle up just a little bit more, make sure it's all scrambled up. And offer the cut to our opponent and draw five cards. We'll try to keep the deck in camera angle so you guys know off camera I'm not trying to stack it. So this is our opening hand. This is not too great actually. So we will play with it though. Um, let's see how I can set this up without being too inconvenient. We're going to activate Dojo, far left zone, normal summoner Kageki, Dojo gets a counter, let's see where is the one at, activate Kageki's effect, special summon Mizuho, Dojo gets a counter, link into our Isold. Use her effect, search for our Photon Thrasher. There you are. And then while we're in here, sending as cost. One, two, three, four. It's a special summon, this Kazaru. Activate Kazaru's effect. Since we have Living Fossil in hand and Mizuho in grave, we're going to search for our Shine Eye. Blue. Shuffle this up a little bit. Let the opponent cut it, and then our hand. Uh, next, we'll activate the Living Fossil. Special summon the Mizuho back. Dojo goes up a counter. And special summon our Shinai to bring Dojo up one more time. Link off these four with different names. Mizuha will get banished since it was attached to Living Fossil. And we'll special summon our first of many, I'm sure, Sarujas. One, two, three, four. So this is actually not too bad. Um, Kigeki and Photon Thrasher don't do anything for us. And Crusader Ouroboria is the least least useful out of them so put those three at the bottom and then we'll activate our smoke signal we are actually going to search for our Hatsume shuffle this up a little bit I'm sure you guys are tired of seeing me just constantly shuffle the deck, but I want to make sure that you guys know I'm not trying to stack anything. We're going to set the Phantom Knight's Trap and just activate it. Far left. Use Saruja's effect to special summon Hatsume. Let's see what we got to work with in our grave. Um, yeah. We'll go ahead, go ahead and use Hatsume's effect, banishing the Shine High and Kigeki. Special summon Kizaru. And actually, Dojo would have gone up one more counter. I forgot, but one from the Hatsume. So Dojo's at seven counters. Activate the Kizaru's effect. We can search for anything that's not earth, water, or dark, since the Phantom Knight Trap is dark. So we are going to... We'll actually search for a Fuma. Uh, at this point, we're not going to special um, yeah, we, we won't special summon our keys on yet. We are going to overlay our Kazaru and Fan Knight Trap into our Dugaris. 
double check our grave. Do we have enough warriors? We do not. So with these two in hand, we're going to activate Dugaris's effect to detach two, draw two, and then discard one on resolution. And we drew gateway, so goodbye, Shinai. And basically, we get a combo now, guys. So we're going to activate the gateway. Uh, special summon the Kizaru, or Kizan, sorry. Gateway will gain two counters. Dojo will gain one. And then we link into Saruja number two. Uh, going into two Saruja, two Sarujas is mandatory. Just because you want to get one in the grave for your Borolode Savage Dragon. Four cards. Um, we'll hold on to the Fuma and the Grandmaster. Put these three at the bottom. Um, activate Gateway's Effect, remove four. Add from Grave. We're going to add a Shinai. Use Saruja's Effect to Special Summon Shinai. Where is my counter? There you are. One, two. Gateway's effect. One, two, three, four. Search from deck. We're going to do the infinite counter combo just so we can get through it. Add special. One, two, three, four counters. Three counters total, sorry. Uh, remove one, two, three, four to do a final search for a Mizuho. Special summon it. One, two, one. And then for those of you who do not know the infinite counter yet, um, welcome to Six Samurai 101. The infinite counter is you're going to activate one Mizuho's effect, attributing a Shinai as cost to target the other Mizuho and destroy it. On resolution of that, Shinai's effect is going to activate, and you're just going to add the Mizuho back to your hand. Then you're going to remove one, two, three, four counters, add the Shinai, special summon off its own effect, or off its own condition. Dojo will go up to four, gateway to two, special, gateway to four, dojo to five, and then do it again. Red, tribute, blue. Pop the Mizuho, lose effect, and activate. Remove one, two, three, four. Add this back. Special summon it. Six counters. Two. Special summon. Seven counters and four. If I can put it down. There we go. So that's just an infinite loop you can do because their effects are not hard once per turns. They're just once per copy. So you can just basically do that an infinite amount of times and your counters are going to go up infinite. So we're just going to tell our opponent that we can do that infinite amount of times. We'll put one on each of them so we know we have 100 billion counters and then we're going to do a lot of searching. We're going to add pretty much everything from our deck to our hand. Except for one Fuma. We, we need to keep one Fuma in deck. So, uh, no, we will add it, actually, because we're going to make one more Saruja, and we'll just put it back. And we'll special summon a Kizan, special summon another red way over here. Link into your final Saruja. What you draw doesn't matter too much. One, two, three, four. But we will actually put the Fuma back. Well, we're going to put this back because we're just going to search that out in a minute. And uh, we can put another Fuma back. 
just because we can search the Fuma or summon it off of Dojo, which we are just going to activate Dojo. Um, let's see, activate United as well. Activate Saruja's effect to special summon Kazaru. Uh, we will not activate Kazaru's effect. One counter on each of these, but we will activate Shadow's effect, special summoning himself. And two counters on each of these. We'll send Dojo to the counter to the grave with two counters to special summon a level two or lower, which is our Fuma from deck. Sync these up into an Ib. Activate Ib's effect. Um, let's see, we're going to special summon Shinai, sync these two into our first negation, Borload Savage Dragon. So Borload Savage Dragon is going to activate after Saruja, throwing a counter, throwing 300 attack on him, and then Saruja is going to gain four counters off of the Borload Savage Dragon. Guys, I'm sorry, I'm just out of it today. Warlord Savage Dragon is going to have four counters based off the Saruja that it, it is equipped to. Um, we will special summon these two. Link all four of these ones. Wrong guy. These four. Four with different names. We're going to link over actually into our Opelousa. Opelousa will have four counters on it, making it 3,200 attack with four negations for monsters, which is pretty cool. Um, next, we will remove some counters off of Gateway. We're going to add a Kizon to hand and another Kizon to hand. Might as well add that third one as well. Since we have infinite counters on Gateway, we're just going to remove them off of Gateway. So this is our hand as of now. Activate the World Legacy Succession. We are going to special summon back our Fuma to a zone a Link Monster points to. And we're going to synchro, actually, these two into our second negation, Herald of the Arc Light. So those of you who don't know what Harold does, just go watch my deck profile, I'll go over him briefly. But yeah, he's pretty good. Um, lastly, we are going to activate the dojo. Special summon the last six samurai from our deck. A Fuma. Special summon the Kizan. Synchro into a big bad Sheehan. We've got two zones open, so... Throw down two more Kizons, overlay, into a giant hand. Since we pulled out from our deck a lot, we'll shuffle it a little bit before we draw off of this United. Theoretically, we could have done this before we even summoned the Kizons in case we drew into another United, but oh well. So draw two off of the United. One, two. Call by the Grave in a dojo. So we'll just set the Call by the Grave. And there you go, guys. You have eight negations on field. Four monsters effects. They are not destroyed, but they are negated. So like stuff like Burning Abyss, they can only activate, or they can only be used once per turn. This negates the activation and it doesn't destroy it. So they can't use the Burning Abysses again. Um, Giant Hand negates the effects of one monster that's face up on the field. Borload Savage negates anything. Sheehan, as you know, negates a trap or a spell, and then Herald will negate anything you want. So we got four, five, six, seven, eight negations on the field. So that is it. That is going to be it for the first test hand. Um, I know it's that was a long video, or long hand, but Gateway is just very powerful, guys. So I will pause the video real quick, and I will be right back, ready to show you the next test hand. Alrighty, we are back 
and I am going to shuffle a couple more times on camera. I shuffled a bit off camera, but I just need you guys to know that I'm not trying to cheat you at all in any way, shape, and or form. I want to make sure that these test hands are as genuine as possible. And yeah, so one more shuffle, give it to our opponent to cut. We are going first again, three, four, five. Well, this is actually pretty interesting. So, go ahead, activate the United. Um, activate double smoke signal. We will search for our Hatsume, actually, and our Kageki. We'll be going back in so we don't need to worry about shuffling too much. Uh, normal Kageki. Activate its effect, special hot in the far right zone. Um, second to far. Two counters on United. We're not going to draw it off United yet because we do not want to draw into any of our equip spells before we make a Zold. So we are going to waste a counter potentially on a Kizan. Link these two up into our Zold. I know a lot of you guys probably think, oh, but, but Jeremy, what if we draw another counter holder? What if we draw Gateway? The risk of drawing the equip spells statistically is much more than drawing gateway. Since we run five equip spells in one gateway, <clears throat> we're not going to draw gateway more likely than we are in an equip spell. So, and gateway was down here anyways. So, we're going to use the Zolt effect to search for the Photon Thrasher. Use her second effect. One. Nope, we're going to keep DDR. Where are these equip spells? Two, three, four equip spells to summon our Kizaru. Activate Kizaru's effect. Search for our legendary secret. And shuffle. Then we can draw two off of Gateway, or off of uh, United, hopefully into our Gateway again. If we draw Gateway, I probably won't go over the combo again, um, just because you guys have seen it, how consistent it is, how easy it is to do it. Um, but I'll draw, into, I'll, I'll play the combo until we get to another counter holder, so we can do infinite counters and get through it. But let's see what happens if we do not draw Gateway. So United for two. This is in our hand. This is in our grave. Make sure I sent four. Yes. Draw two off of United. Ooh, Monster Born's a really good extender. So we are going to special summon our keys on. Overlay these two into our Dugaris. Dugaris's effect. Detach two. Draw one. Draw two. Photon Thrasher is unnecessary. Pitch him. What is next is we can we're gonna activate Monster Reborn. Special summon our Kizaru again. Kizaru's effect is gonna be Chain Link 1. And then since we have the legendary secret in hand, Chain Link 2. And the only thing we can search for is wind. So we're going to search for our Fuma. We should have plenty of warriors in our graveyard by now, so we are going to use our Phoenix Blade. We're going to banish probably a uh, Photon Thrasher and a Kageki. Photon Thrasher, Kageki, add Phoenix Blade to our hand, just so we have more cards to shuffle back when we make our Saruja. Keep note that we have not used Hatsume's effect yet. So we're going to link one, two, three, four, and two, Saruja number one. Use his effect. One, two, three, and a fourth. So we're going to put one Fuma back for sure, since we don't need it. Uh, we need it in the deck for combo, I should say. And we'll put a blue back along with the Divine Blade. If I can get these to the bottom. Jeez. 
Uh, next, we will activate both of the dojos. And we will try to get to our Saruja. Um, Hatsume's effect, Banish Kizaru, and Secret. We will special summon our Kizan back. We're just basically trying to get Kizaru in the Banish zone so we can activate DDR by D. D blah, blah, blah. By discarding, uh, we'll discard Mizuho. Special summon Kazaru. Two counters. Kazaru's effect is search again. Jeez, throwing everything. And we have not used this Saruja's effect to special summon yet. So, we will shuffle up a little bit. This is going to be a long video, guys. I'm sorry, but. I know how much you guys want to see the test hands. How consistent they are. Look how thin our deck is already compared to what we started with. Um, we'll go ahead and use Sarusha's effect to special summon the Mizuho. Three counters on each of these. Link these four away. Sarusha chapter two. One two, three, four, just easy. We'll put the blade, Arborea, and since we have a Mizuho, we'll put a Mizuho back. Activate United, Saruja's effect way over here. One counter on United, four on the Dojos. Since we have a Mizuho, special summon Shinai, two, Five and five. Activate our little pot of greed engine. Let's see. Um, a little difficult now. What we can do is we can special summon this uh, Shinai. Six, six. Activate Mizuho's effect, tributing the Shinai as a cost. If I can pick it up to destroy. Uh, this Shinai, and then we'll protect that Shinai, that Shinai by banishing Kizaru. Resolution, we will add Kizan off of the Shinai, Shinai we just tributed. And then since we have six Samurai, we'll special summon. Both dojos are at seven counters. I only have three counter holders for some reason. Saruja chapter three. Can we get there? Gateway pff, one. Two, three, four, one, two, and we'll put this Kazaru at the bottom. So, since we have 14 counters on the field already, I'm sure you guys know, just based off the last combo, that easy, we'll just get to that same board. Um, I'm not going to play it through just because this, this clip is already eight and a half minutes, but... You guys know where this goes. So I'll do one more test hand video and then that'll be it for the video. So I will be right back for you guys. Alrighty guys, we are back for the last combo or last, last test hand video. So again, shuffle a couple times on camera. Make sure you guys know I'm not trying to stack. And then we will try to combo. As you've guys seen in the last two video, the last two uh, test hands, the deck's very consistent, very powerful. Eight negations is not something you can play around. Um, your opponent usually only starts with six cards in hand, unless they hand trapped you and you could play through it. But yeah, this deck is it can be intimidating. You can set up pretty much unbreakable boards, multiple negations. So. Let's see how this last test hand goes by drawing our one, two, three, four, five cards. If I say if we open gateway, we'll do another test hand just because opening gateway is too broken. And you guys have seen the power already. All right, so this is not too bad, actually. Um, this is a fairly balanced hand, I would say. So, what we'll do start off with is normal summoning Urkigeki, activating its effect. 
Special Summon Mizuho this time. Set the Phantom Knights and then activate it. Link them away into your Azold. Activate Azold's effect. Let me put these guys face up. We're going to search for our Photon Thrasher while we're trying to combo. Let's, there you are. And then next we'll send one. Oh, that glare is bad, I'm sorry. Two, three, and a fourth, maybe? Where are you at? There you are. Four equip spells to summon our Kazaru. Let me square this up real quick. Special summon Kazaru. Activate Kazaru's effect to search for. We're gonna search for Mizuho, or uh, Shine I mean, because we have Mizuho. And then since we have Kizon, we're actually gonna special Kizon first, because we are going to go into our Dugaris and try to draw some counter holders. So special. Overlay, do Garrus, detach two, this is our hand, draw one, draw two, uh, we'll get rid of the Photon Thrasher, can't use them anyways, special summon the Shine Eye, and then we're going to activate in our graveyard, Phoenix Blade by banishing Kageki and Photon Thrasher. Give us another card to play with for our Saruja. So our hand consists of that. One, two, three, four monsters. Saruja. Effect. Draw one, two, three, and four. So that's pretty nuts, actually. Um, I say we actually just put the Blade, the Called by the Grave, and the Hatsume back because since we have the Smoke Signal, we just add her right back. And then since we have the Legendary Secret, we get to draw cards because we also have United and Dojo. We got plenty of counter holders to play with, so let's play with them. Shuffle this up just a tad bit more. Offer the cut to the opponent. And then put you in the grave. So next. Dojo. United. Dojo. Saruja's effect is going to activate. A little special summon Hatsume right here. Um, counters on these and then we'll special summon our legendary. So these will each go up to two counters. United's effect, draw two, draw one, road is pretty good, and so is Kizan. So, um, let's see what we have to work with. Extra deck wise, we already went into our Dugaris, so I say we go ahead and use Hatsume's effect. We will banish a, we'll banish a Kizan and a Hmm, it's kind of hard actually. Because we want to get a search, or we could just go strictly for the Saruja play. We'll go ahead and banish for the Shine Eye, some of the Kazaru, Dojo the three, not four. Where are you at? Three. Three. Kazaru's effect to search again. Uh, we're, actually, we're going to search for a Finma. So that didn't matter too much. Add the Fuma. And then I guess while we're in here, use the reinforcements of the army. Search for our other Kizan, because special summoning for free is pretty fun. 
and we like our counters. And then I do not remember if I put a counter on either of these. I probably didn't, but I don't remember for sure. So I'm not going to put counters on them. Uh, no, I, I remember. I did, I did put counters on them. We got three counters on Dojo. So we are good with that. Let's see. We are going to special keys on. Put four counters on them. And then link the keys on with the Sarusha and everyone else except for Kazaru away. Two in hand, draw, one, two, three, four, called by the graves are not necessary, and Mizuho is not needed, so we'll put these three at the bottom of the deck. Uh, we'll special summon our Fuma, five, Five. Oh, we're dropping cards. Synchro these into our Ib. Oh, that's not correct. Skipping steps. Synchro into our Ib. Activate her effect. We're going to search for our World Legacy Succession. If I can throw cards around, not smack the camera. Sorry, guys. I will be changing my sleeves after this, for sure. So next what we're going to do is, I don't want to risk dr using the last Ceruja, um, so we're going to try to set up minimal, we're going to try to set us up for minimal failure. So we are going to use Dojo's effect to summon a level 5 or lower. Let's see. We'll summon a Shine Eye to that zone. Six counters on Dojo. Activate World Legacy Succession on Kazaru. Seven counters. At this point, the counters don't matter too much because we're not going to try to extend into gateway. Uh, we're going to activate Kazara's effect though. Search for the Mizuho. If you guys would like to risk it, you could absolutely risk it for the biscuit, try to get into that gateway, but I just didn't want to be too, too greedy. You got to know when to not overextend. You don't want to use all of your resources. Next, we will synchro these two into our Borload Savage. Special Summon Kazaru. Uh, well, I'll go ahead and activate Monster Reborn after putting a counter on for the Fuma. Sink these two into a Xi'an. So that's two points of interaction you have. And then Dojo for a level eight or lower. We're going to special summon the Kazaru, activate Kazaru's effect again. We will search for Shinai. Shuffle this up a little bit. Overlay these two Kazarus into your giant hand. And pretty much do whatever you want with uh, these three monsters. I guess uh, you can't really go into your Appaloosa, but you can go into a Unicorn, which isn't going to do you anything at all. Uh, we have used Saruja's effect as special 
so we can't really do too much of anything else except for just throw them on the field for extra but we might as well hold on to them in case we draw a counter holder so still without gateway we end with three negations after I remember to equip him with Sarusha. We still end with three negations, um, three, four big monsters. It's, I'd still say that's a pretty solid field, pretty respectable field. So yeah, that is it going to, that is going to be it for the test hands and the combo tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching the video again. Thank you guys for hitting that like button. Let's see if we can get this one to 400 likes. If we can get this video to 400 likes, I will do a live duel for you guys. So hit that like button, uh, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, share the channel with your friends, please. We, let's. Let's help grow, make this channel grow. I would love to produce more content by getting more subscribers so I can I have more. Uh, I just I just need more help. I, I need more influence from you guys. Um, so please hit that like video or hit like button, share the video and subscribe to the channel. But yeah, uh, that's it for the video and I will talk to you guys later. Recognize when I wreck a mic, leaving all y'all mesmerized. Killing instrumentals, but nobody wanna testify. In his prime, I think someone better check the guy. Always spitting heat, the beat gon' be hard to identify. Stress minds and wreck mics and leave with the best lines. My sex life is great cause I spit like a tech nine. Stall competition, beat them with the lead pipe. Sleep on you rappers just like it's my bedtime. You already know that old big bro from the west side. Got you hoes smoking on my flow like a meth pipe. Forever cold, I'll eat your soul like a death side. Headed to the top, shining brighter than a headlight. You better recognize. I'm about to go off, putting on a show and I ain't even trying to show off Here's the red dot, the shot, and kill Rudolph Call me James Bond, cause I killed it with a suit on <laughs>